Hey everybody, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to put in the invisible zipper on the home sewing machine and you will be using your in, um, invisible zipper foot that they, they do sell these for the home sewing machine so I would highly recommend in, investing in one um, just like you do on an industrial machine they look exactly the same so you can see they have the little holes right here like the two little grooves right there and you just snap it on like normal okay and anyway so I'm going to show you the first one I'm going to show you is um, a trick for if you have some problems setting in an invisible zipper with really silky fabrics and it moves on you or it gets wavy when you put it in this is a trick that I've learned over the years you just put a little bit of interfacing along the seam allowance edge and just fuse it in and I do that on both sides and then the next step you're going to do is you're going to take your zipper and you're going to lay the edge of the zipper tape along the edge of your material, the raw edge of your fabric. And then I'll turn it back over so you can see. I've gone ahead and hand basted my zipper in. Very important step that you should never overlook. Okay, so then the next thing, so I've got both sides on. Move my zipper around. And I'm going to align the hole that's right here, the little groove really, with the tape, the coil tape of my zipper right here. Okay. And I'll try to get a better angle for you. As you can see. So you're just going to kind of help it along, and you're going to start it right before the zipper stop. And then I like to hand crank my um, hand wheel down a couple stitches first just so that it doesn't get jammed because sometimes that little zipper stop will get jammed. And then you can reverse it a couple stitches. Okay, and now very slowly and carefully you're going to help it along with your finger. And you, so if you can see what's happening, let me adjust the camera even more. So you can see that that tape is going right into the groove. And the needle is stitching it right along the edge. And sometimes you have to just help it with your fingernail or whatever just to lay it flat a little. Not flat, but just to make sure it's going in there really well. And you're going to go as far down as your um, foot will allow you to. So you, you're, I have my zipper completely open, right? So I'm only going to be able to go so far. So I'm going to bring the foot, go all the way down to where it's going to stop. Where, where I can't go really any further. And then I'm going to do the reverse stitch. A couple stitches. And slide it to the left, and then trim your threads. Now I'm going to use the I'm going to use the opposite hole on the other side, but I'm going to go in the same direction. You're always going to go in this the, from the top to the bottom, lining up my in the groove there, go forward. Go backwards. And so I'm going to do the same thing. I just want to keep this guy out of the way. Hold on. I want to make sure your your other layer is not getting caught. Again, just guide it if you have to. Okay, back stitch. it. Now I'm going to have to change my zipper foot to what I call the finishing foot. I'm just going to get that out. And you're going to change your foot. It's This is the foot here. You notice that there's, let's see if you can see it, there's a hole on the left and the right. So that's going to allow us to close up the hole on our 
the bottom of our zipper okay I just want to get it to show you hold on okay sorry I was getting so see this is the this is our invisible zipper looks nice and neat and the next step you're going to want to do is close up this hole so for example if this was your skirt your seam would not have been sewn first you install your zipper first so I'm going to choose the side of the zipper um, the closing zipper closing foot that has the hole closest to the zipper so I'm going to choose this side so when I snap this on I want to snap it on so that the hole is to the right it's the closest to the right so now I'm going to take my zipper tape and kind of move it out of the way as much as I can, as best I can. And it looks like I'm fiddling a little, which I am, because I want to make sure that this is out of the way. And I'm going to go up about, let's see, camera focus, if you can see that. I'm going up about a half, maybe a quarter of an inch from where my last stitch was. So I'm going to take and put my needle down. Let me back the camera up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to just put my hand crank, two stitches, and then back stitch, two stitches, two or three stitches. Okay, and then I'm going to continue my seam. Now this, the rest of the seam should be hand basted along your stitch line. So this is where I just closed up the hole, or the bottom, right, right in there. So you can't see anything. And this is how it looks from the back side. So you can only go as close as you can to the zipper with your foot, and then just bring it the rest of the way down, and it'll blend in, because you're starting a few stitches up above where you ended your zipper and kind of connecting it. It doesn't connect exactly, because you cannot stitch right on top of that. But it does work. And so here's your... Invisible zipper. Let's check it. Make sure that it works. Right. Now you can go ahead and remove your basting stitches. So the other method um, that you would use for a zipper on a fabric that is not slinky or slippery is just you do the exact same method. However, you do not add any interfacing to the garment. And that's it for your invisible zipper.